some 40 something years ago I was born but I was born around Mushin area yeah. I don't know whether everybody knows this but Mushin is a typical slum in Lagos state around the time I was born it was really really a slum and uh, it was not easy growing up we had to survive one way or the other and my typical areas of gyrations used to be Onipan, Pangrove, Oshodi, Ilupeju, Isolo, Papajao, Mushinolosha, Olateju, places like that, typical slum. But thankfully, we had the free education. When I was younger, it was uh, Alaji Latif Jakonde that was the governor. So I was privileged to attend primary schools, two primary schools actually, and then one, in, one at Lupeju, one at Okota. Then I also attended two secondary schools. I attended Lupeju Secondary School around the Lupeju area, and then I attended one interesting school at Okota Village, Ilamoye Grammar School. Interestingly, between my secondary school and the university education, I had to become three persons. Number one, I became a bus conductor. I was plying Mushin Olusha through Ladipo Charity, Oshodino, in a typical area boy style. Oshodi, uh, Oshodi, 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 what look will you change there? I did that. When you get to Oshodi, then you now call Mushin Olusha. Mushin Olusha, Mushin Olusha, no change. And then you pass through Kappa, Challenge, Olon Rishogo, then Mushin Olusha. That was the first person I became. I was trying to wait for admission. Then the second person I became was to be a laborer at uh, a construction site. I was there for eight months. I was trying to raise money for jam. And so I, I sought for half a day so that I could read for jam. And so because I sought for that, they said they would cut my money. So I didn't mind, it was as if something was driving my, me somehow. And so I read for jam, I passed. And uh, my job as a laborer was just to push away barrel, carry concrete, sand, cement. But eventually I passed. But just before the school resumed, because there was a strike, I became the third person. Third person was... I became an office boy to serve some group of engineers. My job basically was just to sweep their offices, get run errands, buy food, buy newspaper. But thankfully, there was this old Olympia typewriter on their table. They were not using it. So I started learning how to type. So I was striking the keys before the resumption of the school. But that was my yesterday. That was what I did just to get by. Today, I am a PhD holder in applied geophysics. Today, I've been to one or two countries outside this place, um, France, for some training. US for conference. Today, that typing thing that I just use my time to learn, I'm a very good typist. When I handle the keyboard, I type with my 10 fingers. And I, so I solve a lot of problems on typewriter or on computer. Today, the Mushin boy, the Mushin boy event, even found a babe to marry. So, what if I'm smart? If I'm really smart, I will know that there's still a tomorrow and that there's no time to there's no time to be to sit idle. I have to walk to a tomorrow that maybe the next minute or maybe the next twenty years. And that tomorrow has a gap that we can refer to as this transition period. 
that transition period is what happens between today and tomorrow. And that may require that we redefine our objectives, we refocus our, uh, our ideas, we reweigh our options, and sometimes we re envision what we want to become. Because what you see is what you get. You are either a pawn or you are a king on the chessboard. You are either a cat or you are a lion. And you are either a boy or you are a, you are a man. What is important is that my take in the course of my few years as growing up is that today, tomorrow equals today in transition or a collection of many todays. It is what you put into today that will get us to tomorrow or that will get us to where we want to get to. And that means we have to learn to redefine our challenges today, walk through our, we can't keep complaining. We just have to solve problems. And all of us cannot run out of this country. We have to solve our problems. The countries we are running to, they solve their problems. That's why it is convenient for us to run to those countries. We also have to solve our problems. So we, we learn to redefine our challenges and for today so that we can get that greater tomorrow. We blaze a new trail. We blaze a new trail. Or we support existing trails. Not every time you need to be the one starting something. You can support something that has been started. And then both of you can make progress with it. We can't stop dreaming. We can't stop inventing. And we can't stop creating for us to get to that greater tomorrow. Thank you very much for your attention.